Guess what time it is? It's time for the Game Mag's 5 More NFT Games Part 4. That's right, we're burning the series into the ground. And not because really anything that we can talk about was at E3, which is gravely disappointing, but NFT games are just growing and newer games are coming out as the coming months arrive. We're not saying that these are the games that will make you filthy rich, but it's worth your time checking them out. Much like any video game, NFT games can come in multiple genres that you can play. We'll present 5 more games and we'll include all the necessary information that you need. We'll include the gameplay mechanics and how you can make money from it, since, let's be real, that's the only purpose you care about. Without prolonging your suffering, here are 5 more NFT games to check out. Number 1. Crypto Fights Let's start with a game called Crypto Fights. Yeah, really on the nose there, guys. Nothing says NFT game like a game with crypto in the name. The game is currently available only for Android devices, but if you have emulators that can run Android programs on PC, then you can play it there as well. It'll come to iOS devices in the future, and you can download the game for free. The game has a multitude of gameplay mechanics, which we'll get to in a moment. When you start playing, you will be able to choose from three races for your character. Just do the customization aspect and you're off to the game. Players can go to the dungeons and play against AI enemies, or they can choose to fight against other players. In terms of the gameplay, it utilizes turn-based mechanics. However, before you can deal damage, you need to roll a dice. It has that element from Dungeons & Dragons, where rolling the dice can help determine how much damage you can do and more. If you're lucky with your rolls, you can easily decimate your opponent, or you can get annihilated if your rolls are bad. Dice rolls aside, your character has stats and skills that you can modify as well. This game doesn't just rely on luck, because it does have RPG elements where you need to build up your character to be tough enough to win a lot of its fights. Now that you know how the game plays, let's get down to the money-making aspect. One way to make money is by selling items that you get as loot from those dungeon runs or online fights through the auction house. Speaking of fights, that's the second way to make money, which is to enter online tournaments. There will be tournaments that will ask you to pay an entry fee, which isn't that high most of the time. You can even enter tournaments for $1 and the prizes go up to hundreds and even thousands of dollars. Invest a lot of your time to power up your character, win those fights, and earn some good money. Number 2. Zed Run A lot of the games we have in these videos are centered on fantasy, action, and every other generic game genre you can think of. That's why Zed Run is a bit unique because it is a horse racing blockchain game. Horse racing isn't for everyone, especially if you're in PETA, but if it's convenient for you to play at home or anywhere, then make an account. Unfortunately, this isn't a free game, because in order for you to get started, you need to buy a stable. The stable will be used to house a number of those virtual horses that you'll need to race later on. Horses have different stats that you can understand when you get to play the game. Here's the way you can make money, which is by entering races. That's pretty much it, where you pay the entry fee for a particular race. The fees can be cheap to high, but keep in mind, the higher the entry fee means the higher the prize pool would be. Enter your horse of choice and hope to the high heavens or even the underworld that you win. The races run on their own, and players are encouraged to stream it on Twitch or wherever. Think of it as added promotion for the game. Another means of making money is by breeding your horses. If the offspring is of high quality, then you can fetch a good price for that horse. Always remember that horses have a limit of being bred, and the quality can vary from being average to good and even bad. It's off to the races when you plan on getting Zed Run in the near future. Number 3. So Rare Here's another game that has an interesting concept, which is So Rare. If we had to summarize the game, it's a card collection game based on soccer, or football as the intellectuals call it. To get started, you need to buy a card pack and you'll get some player cards of the lowest quality. That's just the start, because you need to grow your collection so, if you're good, your player cards can grow up to a respectable point. Different cards have different rarity ranks, and there are those that are only one of a kind. Players can buy these cards through the auctions or through the marketplace, and the prices vary. That's how you make money in the game, which is to sell your cards on the marketplace. However, there is another way to win some money, which boils down to the gameplay mechanics of So Rare. It isn't an in-your-face action game, but you enter tournaments by making a team of five fulfilling different positions in any soccer game. Once the team is validated, your team will be able to enter the tournament. Now here's the other interesting aspect, because the result of the tournament will vary depending on how the real players will perform in real life. That's right, the player cards that you will use will rely on their real-life players. If they do good, then you can rack up on points, giving you a chance to win the tournament. So Rare is an interesting game, so you have to be aware of the soccer leagues to find out which players you want to get and use. 
Number 4. NBA Top Shot This next game, NBA Top Shot, may be a bit similar to So Rare, because it is also another card collection game based on sports, a subject I totally know everything about, right, Dad? <laughs> However, what it will remind you of would be collecting basketball cards in real life. That was very popular during the 80s and 90s, and those cards would sell for hundreds and even thousands of dollars. That's how NBA Top Shot works, where players can buy and sell NBA cards. These cards are more than just player cards, because they include highlights or moments. You can have a card where a player performs a fantastic slam dunk or a buzzer beater shot. To be transparent, I have no idea what I just said. It's all in the script, but for all I know, I could be reading out codes for a classified nuclear launch site in Mongolia. Anyways, these cards vary in terms of rarity and price. In order for you to buy some cards, the site will sell you some packs. Opening the packs can be all about luck, where you can get some nice cards. You can also buy cards from the marketplace. The beauty about this is that you can buy the card that you want, but the price can be high, because you're not dealing with luck anymore. Players can sell their cards as well, which is how you can make money. That's pretty much it. It's a straightforward trading game with not a lot of gameplay elements to it. The game is popular and has been making a lot of money, so people love this game, which does emulate the classic basketball cards collecting concept. Number 5. Guild of Guardians the last game on our list is Guild of Guardians. This game isn't out yet, and it is slated to come out in 2022. Why include the game then? Well, because the game is already selling packs that you can use when it officially comes out. Think of it as a potential investment, considering that the prices may get bigger when the game eventually comes out. You can call upon heroes to build a team that you can use. The gameplay is similar to that of the Diablo games, where it uses an isometric view where your team of heroes will explore dungeons, kill monsters, loot treasure, and pretty much the standard stuff of a Diablo game. The items and heroes that you can get can be sold on the marketplace, and that's where you can make some good money in return. Guild of Guardians will be available for mobile devices and the developers ensured that the game won't be a pay-to-win situation. Just play the game and get the items that you need. We'll possibly update the information when this game comes out. It could be around the time we upload 5 NFT Games Part 29, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. And that's about it for this list. Did you like any of these games? Are you off to the races, becoming a sports tycoon, or just play some good games? For more things gaming-related and newer NFT games coming in the future, stay tuned to The Game Mag.